Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught our special video on the solar system shift last night. We've got space weather to go over and a top article furthering one of the key new aspects of solar climate forcing science. As we hopefully recall, we're monitoring the bright northern active region for flares. The massive sunspot group is technically labeled as two sunspot groups by the officials at NOAA, but this is wrong. It's one giant integrated system and the bright fields tell us that. With the southern spots now departed, it becomes the primary focus on the sun and apparently it's still shy, not making any big flares or CMEs. Hopefully she's not just waiting until she fully faces Earth to do so. That's the primary watch this week. Folks, if this one had been properly labeled as one massive active region, it would be pushing the limits for the largest one ever. It's certainly bigger than the biggest of cycle 24 and probably just a shade smaller than the great 1947 sunspots. All in all, its spread is limiting its flare power at the moment. Eyes on her as she turns. Let's go to the great misdirection. A near average qualitative scaling allows them to white out most of the blue on the global temperature charts so they can talk only about warming, warming, warming. Here's what happens when you use real numbers. Things look a bit different, don't they? This is also the better comparison to modern warming as opposed to the cherry pick cold spell they used for the starting block in the former. Hopefully you caught last night's video. We have been expecting the magnetic shift and atmospheric collapse and cooling of the planets, and Pluto and Neptune have fallen. The same widespread cooling collapse event has hit them both, and last night we went over which of the planets should be watched next. Every change on the Earth, planets, sun, and nearby stars. How, why, when, and where it's all going. That's half of the new supplement book, and the other half is the newest solar climate forcing updates. Folks, we have already shown you this sneak preview once in the morning show, but here it is again. Light speed forcing, instantaneous, simultaneous. This continues today. Describing more of those global scale instantaneous effects and with a nod to the waveguide potential to instantly transfer solar wind energy to the entire globe. We are a set of concentric geospheres of magnetism, electric particles, and waterlogged atmosphere above the surface. Same idea where mommy tells you don't go swimming during a thunderstorm. We greatly appreciate your support. Our books and observer gear are at otf.cells.com. Solar system shift continues. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.